a blessing in the house of the Lord today. I told her, I said, I don't have to preach. I'd rather the Lord just come by and give us a good spiritual Holy Ghost meeting. Hallelujah. Fill the house with His glory and His smoke. Hallelujah. Cover us all up with His good power and His good spirit. Would you like to be in a meeting like that? I would. Hallelujah. And all this glory. Hallelujah. And this smoke and this train going down each aisle. Hallelujah. They'd be slain all over the house. Amen. Praise the Lord for a good word from the Lord. You know, the Lord gave me a word the other day. Hallelujah. Woke me out of my sleep, Brother Bob. Give me a word. And I just worried and pondered about it. And I want to preach to you today about the wall. Amen. If you got your Bibles this morning, I'd like for you to turn to Deuteronomy. Praise the Lord. I'm going to read some out of the seventh chapter. If the Lord help us today. Praise the Lord. I believe the Lord is going to help somebody today. Deuteronomy. I'm going to read some out of the Old Testament. Praise the Lord, chapter 7. I'm going to start reading verse 19. I'm going to give you time to get there. Amen. Bless the Lord, Deuteronomy, chapter 7. Verse 19, the Bible says, The great temptations which thine eyes saw and the signs and the wonders and the mighty hand and the stretched out arm whereby the Lord thy God brought thee out. So shall the Lord thy God do to all the people of whom thou art afraid. Moreover, the Lord thy God will send the hornet among them until they that are left and hide themselves from thee to be destroyed. Thou shalt not be affrighted at them, for the Lord thy God is among you, a mighty God and terrible. And the Lord thy God will put out those nations before thee by little and little. Thou mayest not consume them at once, lest the beast of the field increase upon thee. I'm going to stop right there. You may be seated. Thank you for standing with the Word of God. I believe God appreciates you honor Him. I know I, I believe if you read in uh, the books, one of the books, I believe that one of the writers uh, would stand and he would read the four books, Brother Ron, the first four books, and they would stand while he read all four of those books. That's a lot of reading. Then. Amen. And we get tired sometimes. We feel all consumed up with, with two or three scriptures, Brother Ron. Hallelujah. We should love this word so much, Sister Louise, that we want to hear all of it. If it took all day and all night. Hallelujah. I want to consume it up. I want God to be able to look upon me. Someday. His son is going to look us in the eye. And we're going to have to look back at him. And we can't be ashamed. Amen. We're, we might get ashamed or bashful in a lot of things down here on this side of the river. But when it comes to Jesus, don't you ever be ashamed. Amen. If somebody backs you in the court and tells you to deny Jesus, you tell them you're not going to do it. Amen? Yeah. we got to do it, Brother Bob. Their, their son will be martyred for that name, for his name, son. Are you ready to die for that name? Are you ready to do like Paul? 
and run to the top bar. Ready to die for Jesus Christ. That's pretty brave, then. I don't believe some of us desire you. Amen. I'll tell you, some of us, we've got pretty weak in these last days. And the world has consumed us. Amen. I believe that's why the Lord wants me to preach on the walls to this today. And the hornet. Amen. Moses wrote, Moreover, the Lord thy God will send the hornet among them until they that are left and hide themselves from thee be destroyed. You know, there was a people here, Brother Ronnie, they were worshiping our God. And they were worshiping graven images. And you know the commandment says, Thou shalt have no other God before me. Amen. That, that's the first commandment. We don't want to have any other God before us. It doesn't matter what rises up in the land, what rises up overseas. You know, the Antichrist is just about to make his appearance. And the Bible says he'll be able to bring fire down from the sky. You know, a lot of people, they're looking for a sign. And when they see that man be able to bring fire down from the sky, they'll think he's Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, don't you fall for that. Amen. He, I'm telling you, he'll be all over the TV. He'll be on the Christian channels. He'll be on CNN. Uh, they'll tell you all about it. What a great man this is. But it's going to be a false Christ, I'm telling you. It's not going to be Jesus. When Jesus comes, He's coming on a cloud. That's what you want to look for now, a cloud. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, we don't want to get caught up in these last...